Hello, my name is Jeff Raffoff, and I'm one of the pastors at West Lawn United Methodist Church. And I want to thank you for uh, inviting me into your home, into your life, uh, for this daily connection video. Pastor Chris and I have really enjoyed these times together. We've been putting these together for the past three months, and we hope that these have been times of encouragement for you, uh, times that have been uplifting, times to help you focus on God, and, and most especially times to, to connect with God and with others. So we, we offer these connection videos as a, a time uh, that might be a blessing to you, especially in these times of quarantine and stay-at-home orders. And, and I know as we move to yellow, uh, some people are thinking that all the problems are, are over, but that's not the case. We need to be diligent. We need to be careful. Uh, we need to be safe. And so we look forward to uh, a time when we're going to move to green and get back to worshiping together. But until then, uh, we continue these videos, and, and we hope that they are a blessing to you. Anyway, all that said, uh, we have been playing a little game called Stump the Pastor, and you've been submitting a number of uh, photographs of mostly ordinary things, but some are collections, and some are very unique, and, uh, and the stumping comes not from us trying to guess what they are, but uh, trying to figure out what we can say about them that might be of a devotional nature or an inspirational nature. And Janine McMillan sent us something that uh, I thought was rather unique. It was uh, unique, at least for me, and, and I'm guessing most of you, a uh, few of us, if any of us, have one of these, but it's a shoe form. And I, I'm guessing, Janine, that this is something that a shoemaker would use to hold the shoe as it's being made uh, and to uh, help to shape it and to give you sort of a work stand to work on it with. And so um, I'm not sure, I mean, I, I know of a, uh, of a fairy tale or a, a, a fable about a shoemaker, but I, I'm not sure that that would qualify today. But it does cause me to think about God and God's hand in creation. In fact, in the, uh, in the 19th Psalm, we read these words. Uh, Psalm 19.1, the heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament, the firmament proclaims God's handiwork. In fact, we can see something about the very nature of God in all of creation. Creation itself cries out in witness to God. The very creation uh, calls people to recognize that there is something more to this life than what we have, what we can hold, what we can control and manipulate. And so uh, God is that creator. God is the one who has breathed life into us. God is the one who formed us out of chaos, out of nothing. God is the creator of all that was and all that is and all that ever will be. Now, God didn't need a shoe form to do that, but, but the shoe form reminds us of how creative we can be. And, and I would just offer to you that God is that creative force in our lives. I have seen so much creativity uh, on Facebook and in, in listening to other people and, and the stories that are being told about how folks have responded to, uh, to this crisis and to the challenges of, of homeschooling and, and uh, being at home uh, for work and, and some people just being home alone. These have been challenging times for us since March 13th or 15th and the times the challenges are not over. But I am confident that as we put our trust in God, as we look to God, as we, uh, as we lean on God and seek God's wisdom and understanding, seek humility in the very presence of God, as we delve into and allow the Spirit of God to reign in our lives, I'm confident that God will bring about a creative force in your life and mine that will produce something far more lasting than shoes, and that will produce something that will be of eternal value. Friends, I pray that just as the, the firmament, as the earth and the sky and all that God has created give witness to the glory of God, I pray that your life and mine in these days and beyond might also give witness to the glory of God and the things that you and I say and do will give testimony to the love of God made known through Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord. I pray God's blessing on you. I pray that you're well in all of this. I look forward to that day when we're going to worship God together again on our campus. But until then, 
May God be with you till we meet again.